What is up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Um, in this video, I'm going to simply be um, installing my Facebook Pixel to a bunch of my new funnels and a bunch of my new pages um, inside of a new funnel. So um, <clears throat> just to kind of give you guys an idea of what I'm doing or just give, give you, you know, some context, I just put together this whole funnel right here that I'm going to be driving traffic to, which is an actual webinar. So a lot of you that have been following me on my YouTube channel, you know I've been building a, an agency, been getting clients, closing deals, and now I'm scaling all that to a digital course where I plan on teaching people you know, how to market versus me you know, doing it for them. So this is a whole entire training course that I have um, put together, but this is just the funnel. This is just the upfront webinar from the actual landing page, right? from the actual landing page to when they come over here and they opt in and then they end up entering their name and email. And then they go to this page over here where they're going to see the actual presentation. So this will be about a 60 minute presentation of, of what I, what I, what I'm offering. Um, and then as they watch the video, it'll be, let's just say it is a 60 minute video. Um, let's say 45 minutes in, then this bottom part of the page is going to open up. Okay. So this is where I simply have my full blown offer. Now, once they click on the orange button, yes, give me full access now, then they're taken to this secure checkout. Okay. And this is the checkout right here where they can enter their payment information um, and they can purchase. Okay. So this is add to cart. This is the actual checkout. When they purchase, they're then taken to this page over here, which is the purchase page, the confirmation. Congrats, you know, your order is complete. I have to um, update this, but it's going to be, this is basically the template. Um, it'll be a, a, a video of me thanking them, telling them what to expect, and kind of just, you know, laying out, you know, the, 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 the groundwork for what they can, you know, look forward to. So that'll be a video of me, and that is the confirmation page. So again, it goes from it goes from the landing page, driving traffic here, to getting them to my webinar. Um, this one over here is a webinar replay. So this is a link that I'll be putting in the email. So for those who do not watch the the, the presentation, they're going to get hit with this link. This is the replay. Or for those who um, need to watch it again, then they can they can hit this link and go to the replay. And there'll be a countdown clock when this expires. Um, but then also, again, when they click on that orange button, then they're taken to the checkout. When they purchase, they're taken to the order complete. Okay, now it's so, so important that you have your Facebook pixel on every single page. Okay, so right now you can see up here, I have this, this little plugin, Facebook Pixel Helper. This is telling me that there's no pixel on the page. Over here, there's no pixel on the page. Over here, no pixel, no pixel no pixel on the page. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna install that pixel. And what you guys wanna do first is come over here to Google and you're gonna install this pixel helper. So Facebook pixel helper, go ahead and, 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 and search for that. It's, just, it's gonna be this Google Chrome right here. That is this up here in the top right. So this right here, all it does is it allows me to know who's tracking me with, with their Facebook pixel. So no matter what website I'm on, this thing would light up if that website is tracking me with their pixel. But I, I mainly, I don't care who's tracking me actually. What I use it for is, is, is to test my pages, right? Like I wanna make sure that my pixel is working correctly on my pages, and so that's why I have it. So here's what I'm gonna do. As you can tell on all these pages, there's no pixel, and all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna simply install it. So we're gonna come into our ads manager, and we're going to click on these three lines here at the top. Make sure you're in the correct ads account. Sometimes by default, I'll have you in a different one. Uh, make sure you're in the correct one. You're going to click the, hit the three lines and come down to pixels. You'll either see it right there, or if you hit all tools, then you'll see it right over here. And all we're going to do is click on pixels. Okay. We're going to click on pixels, and then we're going to simply come to our cartridge page and we're gonna open up each page. We want it to be on each page, okay? So um, again, by default, it took me to a different account. Always make sure you're in the correct account up here at the top right. So we'll hit the drop down and we'll go to the correct account. And now we're over here. 
Okay. So now we're in the, in the, in the, in the, in the correct spot. We're going to click on this right here, the social real estate and click on that. And it's going to bring you to the setup. So right over here is where I'm looking for my pixel. So I'm going to click on setup. I'm going to click on install pixel. And that's going to bring me to this part over here. Okay. So I'm going to leave it there for now. I'm going to come over to my Kartra pages and let's start with page one. So let's go to this one. We're going to open up this page, click the green button. And once we come into the builder, we are going to click on settings to the left and every, no matter what software you're using to build your websites, it's all the same. Click funnels, lead pages, Kajabi, Kartra, you know, WordPress, all of them are very, very similar. There's a settings and then you just come in here and paste in that code. Okay. So in this case, I use Kartra for everything. Uh, my landing pages, my email automation, my membership course, um, everything. So, um, I come in here, I hit settings, and then it's going to be tracking code. Okay. So we hit that and we're going to come down here and you're going to see embed Facebook ads tracking code. And this is where we're going to paste the code. So we come back over here and I'm going to click on this one right here, manually install. And this is what it is right here. So I want to turn on, I'm going to make sure all this is blue. Just make sure that Facebook, Facebook, they want to grab as much data as possible. So let them grab as much data as possible so they can match it. I leave that on and then just come over here, copy that, bring it over to our page and we're going to simply paste it in right there. Now what I'm going to also do is I'm going to create a, a, an actual event, a standard event. So I'm going to hit continue and then I'm going to come over here and click on manually add event code. Now that you've installed the pixel based code, you can use the event setup tool to track the actions that matter most to your business without using additional code code. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on manually add event code. And that's going to bring me to this section right here. Now you're going to hit this drop down, look for one that, that, you know, is relevant to your type of business. There's all these different ones over here, depending on your niche and your industry. But what I do is I just go with professional, services. And so all this is right here. These are people who landed on my, my landing page, right? So this one, I'm going to simply categorize under, um, most likely view content. There's a few different ones over here. I can go search if I wanted, but I'm going to just go, I'm going to just go view content. So I click on that and I'm going to come down here. I'm going to shade this to gray and there is the code right there. Okay. And then I'm done. So I'm going to copy that. I'm going to bring it over here. I'm going to hit enter twice and I'm going to paste in that second piece of code. I'm going to click apply and then I'm going to come over here, say progress. And then I'm going to save or actually publish live. So save progress, publish live. And then we're going to X this out and we're going to return to dashboard. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here to the landing page. And as I showed you, it's gray. There's no pixel on it, but if I refresh it, let's see if it lights up now. Okay. Perfect. So a little blue, a little green. There's the number three. I click on that page view, view content. So now my pixel is tracking and now, and, and, and you'll catch on the next video, catch tomorrow's video or the very next video after this one, that one's going to be on how to set up custom audiences. Because as I add my pixel to each page, I also want to create a custom audience around each page as well. Okay. So that way I can, I can, I can include, or I can exclude those specific audiences from future Facebook ads. Okay. So that's what the next video is going to be on for sure. Okay. So now we're on, we're, we got the landing page taken care of. Let's take that one out. Now we need the web class page. So I'm going to come over here. I'm going to hit my categories. I'm going to go back down. I'm going to come down to 
this page right here. I'm going to open this one up. And we're going to come into the settings again. And I'm going to just do the same process over you guys. I'm going to copy that pixel. I'm going to set up a standard event, which this one's going to be a different one. The, the first one was, was view content. This one's going to be different. So let's look at our options. We'll click on settings, tracking code, and then we're going to come down to the bottom and come back over here to our pixel. So we'll come back over here to setup, install pixel, manually, and then copy, continue. And then I'm going to come over here to my page. I'm going to paste in that pixel. I'm going to paste in that pixel. I'm going to hit enter twice. And then I'm going to manually add event code. Now this one's going to go under the same one, which is professional services but it's gonna be a different event. So this one now is going to be, I could just go under lead, really. I could go under lead, um, complete registration, add payment. I'm gonna go with customize, I'm gonna go with, um, yeah, I'm gonna go with lead, cause that's really what it is, it's a lead. And I'm gonna shade this to gray, and I'm gonna copy that code, I'm gonna click done, and I'm gonna bring that code over here, okay? So that's a lead. So now I'm gonna come over here, I click apply, click apply, come over here, say progress. Publish live, and then return to dashboard. Okay, so now, we're gonna X this part out, close that out, return to dashboard, and we're gonna just do it again and again. But the reason why I'm keeping you on and showing you each one, because each one's gonna be a different one. Same pixel, but different event code, okay? So now we come over here, There's it's shaded out, It's it's there's no pixel, but then when I refresh it, now it lights up, okay? And this one's lighting up under page view and lead. So I'm telling Facebook, everyone that comes to this page is a lead. Okay, so we're, let's get rid of that one. And we're gonna come back to the replay one. Let's do the same thing for the replay one. So we're gonna come over here, install pixel, manually, copy, continue, and then come to our Kartra page. This one's gonna be the replay, which is this one. And I'm gonna simply put the pixel on this one and this one's gonna be lead as well. So I'll come over here and I'll hit, um, settings, and then tracking code. And then I'm gonna come down to the bottom and paste in that pixel. So let's paste in that pixel. And then also, let's hit enter a couple times. Let's hit enter and then let's manually add event code. And this one's gonna be the same one as the other. And then the next two are actually gonna be different, which I'll show you. So this one's gonna be lead. I'm gonna shade that to gray. I'm gonna copy that code and done. So I'm gonna bring it over here and I'm gonna paste that. I'm gonna click apply, save progress. Publish live. And this part, you guys, obviously this is the time consuming part, right? Um, there's some websites that you can just put the code in and, it, and, and it's attached to every single web page. But again, every single web page is different. So that's why this one, again, I categorized under lead. The first one I categorized under just view content. But these next one, these next two, these last two are gonna be something different. So although my pixel's on it, look, so now this is gonna light up. 
and it lights up and there is page view and lead. So that one is good. Now we want the last two, which is checkout and order complete. Okay, so here's what I'm gonna do. Come back over here. We're gonna set up, install pixel, manually add pixel code, copy, continue, and then come to my page. This page is going to be the checkout page. <coughs> now this one is super important, okay? Installing the pixel, setting up the event code, creating the custom audience around this exact page, and most importantly, the custom conversion. So this whole video series, you guys, this is a three-part series. Part one, you're catching the pixel. Tomorrow, check that next video. That's custom audiences. And then the third one is going to be custom conversions, okay? Without that third one, without any of these really, but without that third one, custom conversions, no leads are coming in and no sales are coming in. You have to set up custom conversions, okay? And I'll show you how to do that um, in, a, in a few videos from, from here. But check those for sure. This is a three-part series. So we come in here, hit settings. We're gonna click on settings, we're gonna click on tracking code, and we're gonna come down to the bottom. So that's where we're looking to be. And then I'm gonna come back over here. Actually, did I already install, I already copied it, right? Let's do it again. Copy, bam. Okay, so now I got that pixel. I'm gonna bring it over here. I'm gonna paste it there. Now this next piece of code, manually add event code, this is gonna be different. So I come over here to professional services and this one is going to be initiate checkout. Okay. So there, there's all these different ones. Just find which one's, you know, relevant to what you got going on. This one is super important for me. This is initiate checkout. So I hit done. I'm going to put, I'm going to paste that in right there. Click apply. Save progress. and then publish live. Okay, so we close that out. We close this out, we return a dashboard, and then let's refresh this page. No pixel on it right now. Let's refresh it and see what it says. Okay. So now, page view, initiate checkout. So that right there, you guys, is super, super important. We come over here to our last page, training course, and this is going to be um, order complete. So this right here is going to be under the purchased category. So then when I go start setting up my columns, I can categorize all this stuff, you guys, especially when I set up my custom conversions. I can categorize all this. I can look at my Facebook ads dashboard and know how many sales came in, how many people actually clicked on this, how many people clicked on that. So I'm now able to categorize everything um, and just give, give Facebook all the data they need to allow me to run the best possible ads I could, I could be running. So come over here. This is the last one. Hit settings. Hit tracking code, and then we're going to come to the bottom. So we're going to come over here, set up, install pixel manually. There's the code right there. Hit continue, and then we're going to come to our page. We're going to paste it in right here. Hit enter twice, and then come back, manually add event code. And I'm going to go on with this one. I'm going to go with the obvious, and that is purchase. Okay, so I hit that, copy that, and I am going to paste it over here, and we're done. So we come over here, save progress, publish live, and we're good, you guys. So that's how you set up your Facebook pixel, right? Make sure you're doing that to all your pages. Um, Kartra is what I use for all my pages, for my landing pages, for so much stuff, man. So I... 
there's a there's a 14 day trial in the description profit with kartra dot online um play around with it set up a 14 day trial reach out to me let me know you got it got it got it set up and i'll help you um get off to the fast start so if i now refresh this page let's see what this says up here in the top right now it lights up we click on it page view purchase so that right there you guys is super super important super basic and that's something you absolutely have to do if you plan on running ads or making any kind of money online all right guys i'll see you on the next video don't miss that video that's going to be setting up custom audiences around all these pages all right i'll see you there